so that door is locked. So he can't come in through that way. So that means I need to get out of here before he comes into this room. I'm going to be trapped in here with him. Dude, will you stop? Uh, no, you can't kill him. That I know of. Pretty sure you can't. I mean, Amplex is crucial to the story, so... <laughs> I don't think they will let you. There's nothing left to, to eat. It's all moldy. Don't come around the corner right now. Please. Plus. Okay, so I want to get to the saving point. I want to save, like, right now. Then I want to head downstairs. Alright. Game saved. Not in. Let's try a little trick to get him... Oh, well, pfft. that's another fucking trick we can do. <laughs> that's half I'm going there. Do have plenty of time to look at the clock. Assuming I know where it is. So now I have to look for a freaking battery. Damn, that thing goes off for like a long ass time. All right, so where's this clock? Not a save point. He's definitely working his way back here. There it is. Ah, oh, 10 out of 10. Man, this old man knows how to make his booby traps. I found the fucking battery, guys. I'm out. Snoop inside people's house. Psh, bitch, I don't snoop. Ah. Oh, no, bitch, I don't snoop. Hello? Ah. Nope, not today. Not today, motherfucker. Go somewhere else. Are you in here? Oh yeah, you're in here. No, 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 no. Bye. No. I need another session. I, I really need it. <laughs> Okay, I need, I need to get upstairs. I just want to sleep. 
Then go to sleep, bro. I'm not keeping you woke. I promise. Dude, if you're gonna complain about it, just go to the store. Now, I have the battery. Now, go back upstairs and play the film, is what I'm guessing. I want to keep him off my ass as much as possible, so. Wait, is it this way? Yeah, it's this way, then down here. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go. I think it makes a difference of, like, what you're running on. This is what I want to say, but you know what? Fuck that. All right, there we go. I probably should have saved. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna have to go do that all over again if I die. Mesmerism session with drug injection. Patient is Richard Felton. Mr. Felton, I remind you that you were sedated with a dose of phenoxyl and submitted to the constant swing of the metronome. Ah, so it was Can sexually hypnosis. Yes. Breathe deeply. Keep your eyes on the metronome. I, I can't Stay follow. calm. Keep control of yourself. We are here for you, Mr. Felton. What day were you born? February 16th. Can you tell me which day today is, or your wife's name? Uh, Ariana. We're in... March, I think. I don't remember. I can't remember. That's normal. It's part of the mesmerism process. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on the metronome. You are now in oblivion. What is the first thought that comes to you? Celeste. On the swing. Happy. Celeste. Can you see her? Keep visual contact. I see her back. She, she's still swinging. She, she can't hear me. Why doesn't she hear Mr. me? Mr. Felton, keep calm. What you see is not material. It's a reflection That's of your subconscious. That's my entire fault. I knew this would happen. That she would escape. We were supposed to protect her so that they wouldn't find her. Who are they? But I never thought she'd come back. I thought her. Do you mean Celeste came back after she disappeared? But she wasn't my little girl. No, she wasn't Celeste. She was Jennifer. Mr. Felton, who, who are you talking about? Who's Jennifer? When my father came back in, in 1930, it was like he was dead. No physical wounds, just broken inside. He changed. I have never liked or loved him very much, but the man that came back from Ethiopia was far from being the man that once left us. He came back to himself pretty quickly but not how i want it mr felton were you abused by your father oh, oh damn no, never he was a good man very strict yes a monster but but not that kind of monster he never touched huh? me i i was a disappointment to him a wimp Thank <laughs> you. 
never touched my culture. Do you think your daughter's disappearance is related to your relationship with your father? Oh, your Wi-Fi went out. Oh, jeez. Never been. Let Jennifer out, man. My father. Don't keep her in your basement. Oh. Oh shit. Is this why you came here? Doctor? Do you have a fucking dog found what restrained you around my for? neck? Why do you even have one of those? Warn you. you should have listened. I mean, it's your house and everything. I know you like to walk around Being naked and angry, but could you let me go? Put yourself this is the worst story. view ever. You think that's going to destroy evidence? Stop, you bitch! <laughs> uh, well, dude, you're stronger than you look. Holy shit. Some things die and stay dead forever. That's not a smart ass. <laughs> that is not a smart idea. Just linger in time. Uh, sir, sooner or later, everyone will find out the truth. I already told you the truth. My daughter left us just one afternoon. Wait, what? We never saw her oh. again. <laughs> Fucking liar. You said that she came back, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> you don't understand. You, me you get have sponsored? No yeah, right. Of what I've been through. Who the hell would want to sponsor me? <laughs> and didn't you think of the pain your daughter's been through? Oh no, Celeste you know, you're was the choking only right bond now. between my wife and I. <laughs> Our marriage was more of a business deal than love. It was one of those arranged marriages where only the parents-in-law love each other. This has nothing to do with your daughter. On the contrary, it has everything to do with her. After she disappeared, Ariana and I were divided. But you said you were protecting Celeste. From who? It's more than you can handle, miss, and you would not understand. It's true. I might not be able to understand. But right now, I believe Celeste decided to leave be because she was terrorized by your morbid intentions. No, it's not true. And yet, sometime later, she comes back home to the lion's it's den. It's not true. One afternoon, I mean, she knocked on the door. I mean, you're kind of making a huge... I couldn't believe huge, huge assumptions there. She was there. But it wasn't Celeste. It, it was Jennifer. Jennifer. Then you came in. God bless you. And thanks to you, I... I finally realized that Jennifer was to blame for my pain, my disease. I could not let her go away again. So one night I slipped into her bedroom, and there she was, <laughs> tempting me. I could not let her hurt us again. No. Oh, well, shit. Be. And yet, you saw her body. I, I had to. I, I didn't have any other choice. So, murderer, you're a murderer. Oh God, forgive me, forgive me. That's I Jennifer's was just body. Following her orders. Oh, then, for real, you, then. you came to us to, to free us from evil. I thought that was gonna be somebody else. Oh God, oh God somebody fucking a goat. I mean, what? Um, holding a goat. <laughs> struggle, struggle. Get down! I don't know what the hell is gonna happen if I don't get the hell down, but I don't want to find out. Okay, you guys hear this, right? I am mashing like crazy. Hello? Jeez. Run, bitch, run! You got heals, but you can still run. Um, excuse me? Ah, oh, I never said I wanted to kill you, but okay. Hug your sister. I beg you. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I'm out. Okay, really? Is that the... Okay. Alright, Dr. Reed. 
you're just trying to get yourself murdered. Damn. I got two old people looking at looking for me. It's not good, guys. There. Reed. How do you know my name? Who are you? Why do you look so freaky? Oh my god, so we know there's a cult in involved. Jeez. Um. <laughs> this can't be real. Please shut up. We don't know where to go. You need to get out of here, but where the fuck do we go? That's the question. We have nowhere else to go. So he's downstairs, which means my objective is probably downstairs somewhere. He's on the left of me. Since he's going that way, I guess I'll go. You don't see me? You don't see me? Okay, hello, game. Uh, what the fuck am I? Okay. You heard who? Me? Couldn't be. Oh, I can't get under there? What? I can get under here, though. I hid myself the first time. What? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> So we're back to escaping from the mansion. Okay. <laughs> you know, it would have been nice to have another objective here. What, did he just up and disappear or something? What? Okay. Whatever. What ifs? I can roll with that. Hello. And we're in here cooking some delicious food. So I still can't get in here. All right, what are we looking for now? Do I have all my deployables and stuff? Okay, I do. I don't want this. Or this crap. Okay, where are all the throwables, please? Damn it, just take this one. It seems like the house is quiet now that I escaped him, but question is for how long okay so I'm just gonna guess and say we escaped him and we have free time to roam around and fucking save actually because I don't want to do that again Oh. Hey, Doc! Well, we found... Some... Wait, hold up. Excuse me? So we found Celeste. 
girl we've been looking for. Hey, can you take me to the save point? Hold on. Never mind. Uh, I'll be with you in a few seconds. I gotta go save. I'm not doing that shit again. Alright. Just want some healing for that booty. Nice and round. Please. Danny will kill Jennifer. Me what to no. say? Miss freaking Flash over here. Where is she going? <laughs> Don't tell me. I gotta search for things just to get her down now. So I can't reach that, actually. Fuck that shit. You know what? Uh, I think we had enough. I think it's time to go back, you know, rethink our lives. Are we seriously about to do this? You know, you would think somebody would get a clue and leave. Ow. You little shit. How dare you? Can I go out of there? Nope. The Red Nuns. Holy shit. Somebody just wrote a whole paragraph on the back of this. Turn the fire at that field. Someone survived. It's her. I recognize her. It's like she follows the list. So I guess we're talking about Jennifer. He thinks this will help us to have our baby back. This is bullshit. She is our baby. His obsession with Jennifer will end up killing us all. Wait a minute. If there's no to saying his, his obsession with Jennifer will kill them all, then I'm guessing the, um, the lady that was performing like the hypnotism on him and crap like that was probably the one who wrote this. So she knows about the Red Nun and stuff. She's betrayed the control over the moss. She became part of that thing herself. I smoked her out, but seeks revenge for the prototype too. Okay, I just want to say this. It, that did not sound like any female, so can we question that? The Red Nun did not sound like a female. <laughs> For everything we've done, and now she pursues Richard to lock me at home in a small room with Celeste. There's... Oh, so we got to find a room upstairs. That's where Celeste went. So the small room, or room in general, where... We saw, like, the scene where he killed, apparently killed Jennifer. Is where we need to go. So now we gotta find a way up there. 
Oh my god. Really? Damn, dude! The fuck, bro? The fuck was that? Oh. Well, what a coincidence. Now that he's back around, I gotta get him away from that, because I don't know how close he is. Oh, it's a nun. The nun's chasing us now. We don't even know where the old dude is anymore. Ready to climb. <laughs> you know, I'll pull that thing up just in case. I'm not gonna talk about it. Are you kidding me? That's the same like icon that is to open the door or close the door. I figured it was gonna close it. I didn't figure out I was gonna have to sit through a long ass animation just for that. Hello? Is anyone there? Yeah, to be to be honest, I can actually see that coming. Oh, guys, we found Shadow's basement. No, no shit. <laughs> oh, that isn't creepy at all. Death, we are still going. You missed a few creepy scenes and the red nun trying to murder us. What just happened to your hand? Hello, new house, new deal, new life. I'm packing with. And Jennifer. Wait. Huh? So she marked out the name um, Celeste and said, I'm Jennifer. Oh, wait. Did. So. Since she was adopted, or technically adopted, did they just give her the name Celeste and her actual name was Jennifer? Is that what I'm getting at? Maybe I could be wrong. Oh my god, crazy bitch. So you just can't... So 
so you couldn't see the shadow that was just over your shoulder or anything. There was a mirror right in front of you too, so we're not going to talk about that either. Okay. Try to escape the map. Dude, I'm fairly sure we're never going to escape at this point. Alright. I have a bottle full. I have a bottle, Jennifer. Bitch, I am going away. I'm out. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, you're so loud. Oh my God, doll hands. Did you just fucking hit me, bro? Well, damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the responsible authorities are trying to make light of what has happened. Now let's go to the report. Shut us go. A phone line repairman was attacked this morning in an underground car park. Surveillance cameras show a blonde woman in suit with an elegant, innocent air about her who approached the man. Oh, look, she's still alive. She's not dead yet. Oh, damn. You know what? Walk it off. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> the man wounding his head. The wanted person, aged between 30 and 40, has been browsed. It ain't that bad. ...containing confidential information about the user who asked the phone line to be repaired. She stole the van and started driving to an unknown destination leaving the man unconscious. The authorities are now checking for any evidence that the woman might be looking for a particular address. Although the man is now out of danger, he has suffered lesions and a concussion and has been admitted to a hospital nearby. A few hours ago, the authorities provided an identikit of a woman based on the victim's description. Oh, so she's being framed now. In the presence of this woman, or if that you have woman seen looks like you. Who, who are you? I hope you'll forgive me. But you mustn't touch my things. My things are mine. You mustn't. That photo on the loft. What happened to that door? Richard made it disappear. He doesn't want anyone to go in. No, okay. What do you mean? That door no longer exists. There is now a wall. A wall behind the fireplace. So we know where one fireplace is, I believe. Actually, we do know where the fireplace is. Oh yeah, I did get hit, didn't I? Because of that bitch. All right, so she's dealing with the TV. I need to be searching for all these. Other... Wait, hold up. I was about to say, do I not have my defensive? I need another smashable. Have you met Gloria? Gloria's a bitch. She lied to me. Wrong door. Please. No, Leave me alone. sorry, wrong number. Goodbye. Go away. No, sorry. Wrong, wrong number. My slow. Oh god, I couldn't make it because I'm injured. So if you're injured, it takes a lot longer for the events to go through. Noted. Oh, I spawned back in here? Okay, cool. Because I need to do something right quick. Remember when you fucking hit me? Bitch. <laughs> you remember when you fucking hit me? Revenge.
Payback is a bitch. Bitch. Vengeance is mine. All right, so uh, my vengeance out of the way. <laughs> Go ahead and get the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> Bitch, you think I'm here. Am I a lot of little footsteps going on down there? Hey, don't get mad at me. She fucking hit me. That was vengeance. Come to me, Mars. Come to me. And that, this is actually where we need to be, too. Because first off, I need to heal myself and save. And go to the fireplace on that side. <laughs> Dude, how long are you going to sit up here? Yeah, good luck with that. I'm gonna go over here and heal myself. It looks like I've seen better days, you know. <laughs> we fell off a ladder, we got the shit beaten out of us, we got stabbed with a fucking bone dagger. Ow. Ow. Sounds like you're opening a lot of doors over there. Can you, can you stop? Alright. Hurry up and heal, please. Thank you. Now save. Game logic. Doesn't sound like he's around. But... I think it may be... The best idea... To lure him over here. Just so I can get that, you know... Boost. That head start, you know? I don't know if I can make it to my spot, but, you know, we'll see. Alright, made it. And now we wait. Yeah, go over there. Go for it. Bye. Alright. So, the fireplace that they were talking about should be over here. Hello? Oh no, I think the game crashed. Guys! Well, at least we saved. <laughs> yeah, the game crashed. Oh, damn it. Hold on. Oh, that sucks. But thankfully, we saved. At least I hope, I hope this game doesn't mess up and delete my save. Dude. We were just on a great run and everything, and they were just like, you know what, nah, we're stopping this now. What momentum do you want? <laughs> uh, it was going so good. It's launching. Give it time. Uh, uh. Right, right. Just Fs to pay respect, guys. Wow, that is unfortunate. I knew as soon as my computer just like went doom, then I was just like, ah, oh, shit, it crashed. I was just like, I knew it fucking crashed.
Dude, I'll be fucking pissed. I will be pissed. It better not be corrupted. It better be still be there. Perfectly fine. Oh, we're throwing hands. I swear to God. We made all that progress. Literally just like a whole two hours and 46 minutes. Yeah, I would definitely be pissed. I mean, we know what everything like to do now, but we can get through it like within an hour. But who the hell wants to go through all that again? And this is another thing I was talking about where the game takes forever to launch as well. It still hasn't launched yet. It's still just on its launching loading screen. But the thing is, this game is good. It really is. I think they just need a little bit of like minor tweaking when it comes to like how long it takes the game to load up, how long it takes the game to get through their loading screens. The only issue is the loading screens. That's, that's pretty much it. Oh, when I read it now, remothered, remoth. <laughs> Continue. Thank God. It's still there. Oh, we would have been fighting. I swear, we would have been fighting. Moths are poisonous. Shoot them up. I don't remember moths ever being poisonous. Are moths actually poisonous? I'm puzzled now. I, I honestly am interested to know. <laughs> To be honest, I just thought they were basically like butterflies that didn't do shit. And just they just ate clothes and fabric. If they're actually poisonous, I'm killing every last one that enters the house now. Just saying. You know what? I might just kill every last one of them that comes in the house just to make sure, just to double check. <laughs> No, just just for safety reasons. Just be cautious. Okay, you guys see how long it's been at this loading screen, right? This is one of the loading issues I was basically talking about. How long it took it to load up. And how long it took the loading screens to go through. So next time this game crash, I'm just going to get off. <laughs> and I hope it's not anytime soon that this game crashes. Because it's like transferring like sort of like transferring over to like cutscenes is kind of like really spikish like it it just gives you the feeling that it's going to go go ahead and just crash don't want me just sitting here at the loading screen Waiting for it to go by. So, how are you guys? Great. I'm great too. Just sitting here waiting. Patiently waiting. 10 out of 10. Lotus Screen Simulator. There we go. Thank you. All right, so, oh dear God, it paused again. I'm not gonna click anything, because last time I clicked something in the middle of it freezing and it just turned off. Okay. Oh, since that movie, that music started up, he's close. Yeah, there he is. Oh, you can tell he's coming too by the lights. Okay. God. Come to three. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters. Uh, did you reach three yet? Or did you forget that number? Yeah, there's definitely some lag issues going on right now. I don't know what's going on. The blood of the lamb should have been splashed as a symbol of the dispersion in memory 
I might have to tone down some things. Because the game is like shitting itself right now. Like, it was playing perfectly fine up until this point. Like, jeez. Alright, so I can't do my whole clock idea anymore. Since he already ran up here quick as fuck. So he's all over there. So the light was turning off because he was on the other side of the wall. Like, what's going on with the performance issue? Okay, yeah. High quality is not even on right now. Like, come on, dude. Well, I probably shouldn't have everything set on auto either. Let's go with... Let's go with high. I'm pretty sure they're just trying to put everything on ultra. Oh, that's better. Perfect. Yeah, pro everything was probably on ultra. Just a little bit of spiking here and there. Not too much. Okay, no, they're still spiking. Alright, medium we go. What is going on with this game? Like, holy shit. Like, you guys saw we were just... We were doing just fine up until this point. And now it's just like... I hear him behind me. Cause you guys can hear the mobs, right? I need him away from where I need to go. And that's the fireplace on the other side of this room. <laughs> Please shut up. He's not what we need right now. Hi. I know you're in front of me. Because I can hear you in your high heels. Or am I smoking something? Yeah, I think I'm smoking something. He's definitely not over here. It's probably where I need to be. Oh, yeah, there he is. You don't see me. Don't, don't fucking see me. Don't come this way. Don't come this way. You fucker. You're coming this way. Okay. That was close. Oh, he's going down there. Please do. And then come the flames. And it is from the flames that God showed me the truth. Oh, you fucker. You would go back. Okay. I might have a little bit of an idea. We're going downstairs. Depending on where he is. Wait, do I have a... Okay, I do have a defense item.
Yeah, keep going. Actually. This is not a good spot. Because I don't think he's going to ever come up here. If he does, he has the awareness of a fucking god. Hiding behind that table wasn't a bad idea either. there. Keep going. Keep going. You're almost there. Go. You made it. Well, the fact is, I can't see shit. <laughs> As long as you give me back my freaking frames, I think I'll be happier. And not leave me in the dark, jeez. I think the next mirror we find, we're gonna end off there and start it up again later because this frame drop is out of this world. Hopefully, it'll clear itself up. There's another mirror. But let's play for a little bit longer just to see if it actually clears up. Did the volume die? Can you guys still hear everything? Because I can still hear stuff. Why did you grow up? Did you? Huh. Wait, what's this? Oh, we can push that. Is anyone else having uh, issues with volume? Now do I pull or push? Um, neither. The wheel is jammed. Are you fucking kidding me? But there's a door right there. Can I do that? Huh? I heard something. Where? Where was that coming from? Okay, so I don't seem to get any frame drops anymore. So I'm going to try and turn it up back to high. Let's see how that does. Alright, my friends are back. Sweet. For now. I'm not going to jinx it. Alright, so we have to go back through the house and look for <laughs> things again. We, we've just been in this area for like seconds and we still got to go back. Great. We need more throwables too. Is 
this yeah that's a TV so that's just pretty much the noise okay yeah yeah guys I'm gonna end it for today uh, we'll try it tomorrow and see if it works then because right now this game is shitting itself so <laughs> yeah only, only a few hours jeez so I'll see you guys tomorrow nothing more I can do today sadly but I'll definitely try and fix it and see if it's just my PC, if I need to restart it or something. But I will definitely see you guys tomorrow for some more. Until then, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to follow me and keep up with the series, then feel free to. Until <sighs> then, peace out. And I was having so much fun too. That's unfortunate. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose